the gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Massachusetts Thank is Thank you, recognized. Madam Speaker. Let me yield two minutes to the gentleman from Oregon, Congressman Blumenauer, the chairman of the Trade Subcommittee, who has been a real leader on this issue. I appreciate the gentleman's the gentleman, courtesy. The gentleman uh, from Oregon. Thank you. I appreciate recognized. the gentleman's courtesy. It's great to see you come together with a ranking member. Congressman Doggett and I introduced legislation three weeks ago uh, that uh, this completes what we had. I am, I am sorry that uh, we were unable to move forward, but I'm pleased that the White House now feels comfortable moving forward with this legislation. Uh, and it is important that we are uh, moving in concert with our allies, but I think we need that sense of urgency based on what we heard again yesterday from President Zelensky. This is what we have done in Congress with the administration has damaged the Russian economy for decades. Uh, watching what has happened in terms of the collapse of the ruble, uh, the cratering of their stock market, uh, raising the cost of living uh, for ordinary Russians, not just chasing the yachts of the oligarchs. We have a quarter of the WTO that accounts for about 58 percent of the global domestic product moving to suspend this MFN standing. It means the, their economy will face higher tariff rates, export bans, investment restrictions, export licensing requirements, customs hurdles, restrictions on cross-border services, unequal treatment for intellectual property, and rules of origin. All of these further cripple the, Rup the Ru Russian economy. This is another tightening of that noose, sending the signal. I hope there's more that we can do uh, economically in terms of weapons, maybe even some way to find a way to get MiGs uh, to the Ukrainians without starting World War III. But in the meantime, this is critical to move forward, to finish the job we started three weeks ago. I'm pleased to support it, and I yield back the balance of my time.